What's up everybody, David here, and today I have another sonar video for you. I don't know, I guess I'm just digging the sonar stuff lately. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 10 essential keyboard shortcuts for Sonar Platinum. Now I know there's like a billion different shortcuts, but the reason I picked these is because I use them every day in my workflow and it helps me be quicker and just more efficient at recording, mixing, whatever you're doing. So I think this will help you guys out as well. So just know that these aren't the only shortcuts and you should educate yourself on all the stuff that Sonar has to offer. But for now, here is my top 10 essential shortcuts that I think everybody should know. P is probably the simplest of all the shortcuts because all it does is open the preferences menu. Now if you wanted to do this normally, you'd have to go up to edit, then preferences, but instead of that you just hit P and it'll open up just with one key. F is another shortcut that I literally use all of the time. It means fit to window. And what that is, is that F will take however many tracks you're working with and resize them so that they all fit on one screen and they're as big as possible. Let me show an example. So let's say I have five tracks. So I'm gonna delete all these other tracks. And don't worry, I do have these saved. So once they're deleted, if you press F, it'll resize them so that they're all as big as possible, but you can see them all in one place on one screen. But there's another side to F that I really love, and that is collapsing tracks. So for example, these tracks right here, 6 through 32, that's as small as the tracks will get. That's as small as it'll let you minimize them. So let's say I have a bunch of them open, and I'm done with it. Instead of clicking through each one and collapsing them, simply just press F, and it'll resize them all back to the smallest possible size, and back to the way I want to mix. So that can save you a lot of time. N is another super easy one because all it does is toggle snap to grid, which is up here in the control bar. So normally you can just click on it and turn it on and off, or you can press N and do it with one single key. This saves you a lot of that back and forth with the mouse because honestly, as far as efficiency goes, that little stuff, it adds up. Now L is for loop, obviously, and that toggles the loop on and off. So just like snap to grid, you can click it on up here if you wanted to, or you can just press L and do it with a key. Now the second half to loop is that you have to set the loop points. You have to tell the computer where you want it to loop at. Now normally, if you have loop on, you can just drag these points around and, and set it by doing that, but the easier way is actually to use the uh, set point command. So basically how you do that is you select any portion of the song that you want, anywhere, doesn't matter which track, and then hold shift and hit L. And that will automatically set the new loop points. So we'll do it one more time. And that's it. That's how you set the points, the easiest way possible. And one thing to keep in mind is that if loop is not turned on and you set the points, it will automatically turn loop on. You don't have to set the points and then go back and toggle it on as well. So tools is another really simple one and all it does is it's a show hide command for the tools menu. So let's say you're editing something down here and you need to change tools. There's probably a lot of back and forth with your mouse which again, that stuff adds up. So if you just press T, it'll open up a little menu that allows you to change tools wherever your mouse is located. Wrong button. So where, wherever your mouse is, it will open up the tools menu for you to change your tools. And that just, again, it saves you that back and forth, which adds up. So E is another cool, really simple one. If you've ever noticed up here in the control bar on this effects button, this will bypass all of your audio effects. And what that means, it will temporarily disable any effect inside of your effect bin and inside of the pro channel. So what that allows you to do is that kind of gives you a chance to A, B your mixes or just a single track. So if you want to hear what the track sounded like with no processing, you could quickly hit that effects button and then it'll shut all of it off until you click it again and then we'll turn it back on. Now easier way to do this instead of going up there and clicking is the E button. That's just a toggle to turn that on and off. So for you guys that are working with MIDI, this is another indispensable tip. Instead of going up here to views and opening the piano roll that way, you can just use the shortcut. So click on the track that you want to open, hit Alt and 3, and then it will open up the MIDI piano roll. Now lately, I've been using a lot of buses, and if you're working on one screen, switching back and forth between the buses and your regular tracks can kind of be a pain, because usually it's this small window down here, and it kind of takes a minute for you to kind of find that line to open up the bus pane. Now the easier way to do that is with the command Shift B and that will open it up, and if you press it again, it will close it down. So this one is another really cool one. This allows you to zoom using your mouse. So instead of using the zoom buttons at the bottom or using the keyboard buttons, just hold Alt, and then use the scroll wheel on your mouse and it will zoom in to your song a lot quicker. Now we'll call this last one an honorable mention, and that is Control S for save, guys. 
for the love of God, please learn this command. Please just in embed it into your brain forever. I want it to be a natural muscle response that when you record a cool take, save. If you make a big mix change, save. Just get used to this. Control S is your best friend when recording any music on any DAW. I shit you not, like two days ago, I worked for an hour and a half on a project and did not save once. And guess what happened? My shit crashed and I lost all of it. That was a stupid rookie move, so just make sure you're on top of it, because especially if you're getting paid for this, when you do that, you lose time. And in this business, when you lose time, you lose money. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this. I hope this helps your workflow, and I hope this allows you to focus on the creative stuff of recording and writing music rather than all that other bullshit that kind of takes a little too much time. And as always, do not forget to subscribe. There's new videos every single week, and you don't want to miss any content. Thank you so much for watching. My name is David, and I'll see you next time.